Hello, this is Michael Tyler with another free Vectric Project of the Month. This month's project is called the Tufted Heart Pen Holder and features a pretty tufted heart carving made into a nice desktop pen holder. This makes a nice Valentine wedding or anniversary gift or a gift for any other occasion when you want to show someone some love. The project is compatible with the current version of the Vectric Aspire software, which is what I use to create all the individual models that make up the project. These models were ultimately combined together to yield the final tufted heart composite model. And as a bonus, all the original individual models are included in the Aspire project file. This could prove helpful for anyone wanting to observe how the models were layered, merged, and combined, as well as being able to use the individual models for other Aspire projects. You can download this free project by logging in to your VNCO account. The project includes an illustrated PDF set of instructions, as well as the Aspire project file itself. Please share photos of your own tufted pen holder at the Vectric user forum and social media accounts if you make one for yourself. It's always fun to see your versions of the free projects. To be alerted to future free projects, please subscribe to the Vectric video channel and Vectric newsletter for all notifications. I believe you'll enjoy the rest of this video, which shows you how I put the project together, applied the finish, and installed the pin funnel mount. By the way, these pin funnels and funnel sets are available from local hobby and arts and crafts stores. You can check the wedding section at your local store for a variety of styles, or you can visit the web links and the PDF instructions that I've provided for you for online retailers you can order from. Okay then, on with the Tufted Heart Project video. All right, the carve is finished, but before I remove this from the small board, I want to test fit this heart to make sure it fits in the uh, inlay portion here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove just the heart. Let's take a, a chisel. In the file, it has a 20 thousandths of an inch allowance, making this uh, bigger all the way around than the heart. And that should fit just fine. I've, I've used that allowance plenty of times on other projects and it works out great. But you want to be on the safe side, so test fit your piece before you remove it from the machine. Because if you find that the inlay does not fit, then you've already got it laid out and you can just uh, alter the file to make this cut out with a little bit larger offset than what it was originally designed for. So let's see if this fits. Well, there we go. That fits just fine. So I'm good to go. I can remove the rest of this from the spoil board. Okay, I've got the quilted heart sanded up and I'm gonna uh, seal it before staining. So I'm gonna apply a mixture of uh, bullseye seal coat 
which is uh, a sanding sealer and really it's just 100% uh, wax-free shellac, clear shellac. And uh, I'll mix it with this denatured alcohol. So one part of the seal coat with one part of the alcohol yields a 50-50 mix. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this thinned seal coat on the quilted heart and let that dry. And that'll uh, make any remaining fuzzies stand up and stiffen up when it's dry. And I'll sand it once again, get the remainder of the fuzzies off and then I'll apply a stain. So in this case, I'm just gonna apply on the top side and let that dry. And then we'll come back and uh, sand it up and uh, stain it. I've sanded the uh, tufted heart after that application of the 50-50 seal coat denatured alcohol mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this Rust-Oleum uh, Ultimate Wood Stain. This is the Cabernet color. It's sort of a reddish purplish color. And so I'm gonna apply that to the heart with a, an old brush here. And I'm just going to get into the crevices here and uh, go around the edges, the sides here. I don't want to stain the back because I, I want to leave that plain for the glue when I glue it to the outer frame. Okay, we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and apply uh, some clear coat on there. While the stain is drying on the tufted heart, I decided I'd go ahead and apply some of this 50-50 mixture of the seal coat and denatured alcohol to the frame or base of the pen holder. And I'm just uh, rubbing it on with a clean rag dipped in this 50-50 mixture. That way I can keep the shellac off of this area here and just apply it where I want to. So this will help uh, avoid having to apply too many spray clear coats that get absorbed into the wood. This will help seal that so I can use less clear coat Okay, got one coat on there. I'll let that dry. And I'll probably put uh, a couple more because this stuff's pretty thin. Okay, I'm in the process of applying a few coats of this gloss crystal clear Krylon spray. And that's to get the bulk of the finishing done on this tufted part before we do the final glue up and the installation of the uh, pin funnel. So I've already applied a few light coats. I'm just gonna apply a couple more light coats of this crystal clear gloss, and that'll seal that stain up. Then we can glue this into the base and install the pin funnel. Okay, ready for glue up. Spread this uh, glue in the pocket there. Okay, looks good. Now let's take a piece of wax paper and just put a weight on top of that until the glue dries. All right, the glue up is dry, so I'm just applying uh, a few light coats of this uh, Krylon Clear Spray. And after that dries, and uh, I'll install the pin funnel hardware. All right, the finish is all dry on the heart. And uh, let's take a look at this pin funnel assembly.
it appears that uh, the screw that's included with the pin funnel is a metric screw, uh, 632, and there's a tiny washer included as well. So we need to figure out uh, how to mount this to the heart. This is pretty stiff here, and you, you can see, if I get that up close there, there's an adjustment screw for the tension that's on this ball adjustment. So it's a little tight. I'm going to loosen that just a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, that feels about right. Okay, so we need to drill through this guide hole on the quilted heart uh, in a diameter that's suitable for this mounting screw. So I've got this little gauge here and I just go through and see which of these holes is going to accommodate this screw. And it looks like that the 532nd hole is going to be about right. So we need to get a 532nd bit for drilling through and that will drill all the way through to the back side here. Then we need to make sure that on the back side that we countersink far enough into the back that it allows the screw to reach up through this hole to be able to screw into the base of the funnel. So that's a half inch long screw and it looks like it only goes into the base about three eighths of an inch. Well, it leaves three eighths of an inch left, so it's only going into the base by about one eighth of an inch, a little less when I put this washer in. So, uh, so I think what I'll do is pick a bit that's large enough for my screwdriver to fit. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now this fits through here. And allow myself a little wiggle room. So I'm gonna use a 1964 inch bit for the countersink on the back side. So we'll use a 5 inch bit for the pilot hole, flip it over and drill a countersink. I think I'll go about an inch. That should leave enough of that screw poking out the top here to go into this mount by about an eighth of an inch. So we'll use the 5 inch pilot hole and then a 1964 inch bit for the countersink. Okay, I'm gonna put a piece of this painter's tape on the back to minimize any blowout from drilling that pilot hole through. So I'm just gonna guesstimate it's right about there. And I'll just fold this over so it'll make it easier to remove after I do that pilot hole. Maybe that should help. And I'll just take a scrap piece of wood, lay it down there. And I've got my 532nd inch bit. And we'll use this hole that was machined in when we originally carved this as a guide for this 532nd pilot hole. We'll go all the way through. There we go. All right, we'll switch over to the 1964 inch bit. And I want to countersink from the back side about an inch. So as a guide, I'm just going to measure an inch from there and apply a piece of this painter's tape as a flag to act as a depth guide. Okay, I swapped out the scrap wood block and uh, put this towel pad down there. I'm in the process of using that 1964 inch bit 
with a flag showing that it's going to uh, give me a guide there for drilling one inch deep. So I just want to be sure that I don't go all the way through, so I need to stop before it hits that, that flag. So I'm just going to hold this firmly and go as slowly and carefully as I can. Okay, it looks like we're just about there, but we'll do a test just to make sure that that screw is going to be poking out enough to screw into the mount. Okay, I need to go a little farther, it looks like. Okay, that should do it. Okay, got the holes drilled and just mounting, tightening this up on the funnel. Just want to get this aligned with that bottom of the heart there. Okay. Now you can uh, buy these as a complete kit with a pen, which was included with this kit. But if you have any slimline pens that you want to use instead, or if you just buy the funnel by itself, then you can use any slimline pen that will fit. The thicker pens like this are too big. So you need a slimline pin. Okay. All right. That finishes up the tufted heart pin holder. So I hope you've enjoyed the project. Again, you can download all the files, PDF uh, instructions and so on from your V and Co account uh, at Vectric. And if you make one of these, please do post some photos of it so we can see your version. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. Don't forget to subscribe to this video channel to get notified of all the future free Vectric projects of the month. This is Michael Tyler. I'll talk to you next month. Happy carving.